Today, we finally got some Red Team DLSS news, like it's ETA. We got IBM researching the hell out of nanometers and Intel's last hurrah for Tiger Lake. What's up guys, I'm Snows, and this is your boot sequence. NVIDIA's DLSS, the tech that we want in every PC, every game, and every console, thanks to its boost in FPS with minimal visual quality decrease. Basically, the big bad wolf haunting AMD day in and day out until the red team figures out how to make something similar for RDNA 1 or 2. Well, AMD has been working hard on it, and apparently it's already in the hands of developers. This information comes from Cortex over on YouTube, who, let's say, has a wavy track record in terms of leaks, but still delivered on some occasions where it came to timelines and such. He was warned in advance of things like the launch and release date of the RX 6700 series and the delays accompanying the 6700 non-XT. Anyways, in this video, Cortex outlines some information from the leaker. Here it is. AMD's FSR, or Fidelity Effects Super Resolution, the DLSS competitor, is already in dev's hands. We already knew that. It also won't require training from a GAN pre-deployment. That means that it won't need any machine learning training per game like DLSS 1.0 had to have. It uses algorithmic super sampling that upscales with minimal overhead. It also requires minimal developer intervention, which is great since it means it will add more games to the list more quickly. And we don't have any concrete numbers just yet in terms of performance. So far, everything here seems like boilerplate common sense since DLSS 2.0 has these. If AMD wants a chance at competing with DLSS, all of those boxes should be ticked before the uh, FSR even releases. Well, now comes the juicy info. First, it's launching in June. That's great. That's next month. And next, it might have compatibility with NVIDIA GPUs. Wait, what? Well, according to Cortex, this AMD FSR would be compatible with GTX level cards, allowing green team users who haven't upgraded to take advantage of that feature. Now, do I believe that? Absolutely not. But not because AMD won't do it, because NVIDIA won't allow it. You see, AMD has always been the quote-unquote good guy when it comes to software. Sure, their drivers sometimes blow, especially that Radeon software. God, I hate that Radeon software. But AMD's features, the things like in Fidelity FX, uh, Contrast Adaptive Sharpening, SSR, Denoiser, uh, VRR, they're all pretty much the whole suite of Fidelity FX, and they've always been open source. But it's up to NVIDIA to implement them into their drivers. And so far, they haven't. Neither has Intel. So will it be available to NVIDIA, the company, or even Intel? Well, yes, it has always been. But will we be able to use FSR on GTX and RTX GPUs? Uh, no, I'll eat an inch off my socks if that happens. What I hope though is that AMD has at least it available for RDNA 1 and maybe even for Polaris. What do you guys think? Let me know down below. Moving on, we got IBM, who had some pretty insane news coming from their research labs. The company just unveiled their breakthrough in chip manufacturing with a wafer that they manufactured using a two nanometer process. Two freaking nanometers. Now, you might say, yeah, but that doesn't really matter. As we've seen before, the nanometer count and the nanometer war could be referring to any part of the transistor and blah, 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 they don't matter. That number can lie. What can't lie is transistor density. IBM can have more than three times the transistor density when compared to TSMC or Samsung's seven nanometer process. As is, it is also a little more than Intel's upcoming seven nanometers. By the way, thanks to Ian Cutris from Tech Tech Potato for the information. Go over to his channel and say hi for a more detailed explanation. I'd love to interview him maybe in the future when my uh, brain gets bigger. In any case, IBM doesn't actually manufacture chips in-house at a large scale. Rather, they do research for Intel and Samsung and basically lease patents for the use of their findings. In any case, it will be a while until we see two nanometers, but it's nice to see that there's still room in silicon for some angry pixies to flow. 
Anyways, guys, that's pretty much it for the catch up. Hopefully you've enjoyed. Drop a like if you liked it, a comment if you wanna talk about today's stories. I'm sorry if I'm talking weird, it's because I've recorded this video about five times so far and I bit my tongue every time. The first time the hard drive died, the second time the audio had an issue, third time also audio, fourth time, guess what? It's back to the hard drive issue. And now with a four year old drive, it works. Thanks for uh, listening to me rant. You can click right here to see the latest video right here to subscribe to the channel. Stay frosty, my dudes, and I'll take a nap. Oh. <laughs>